Charting at number one on the Billboard Hot 100 is Thank You Next by Ariana Grande. Now this song has been on the top of the charts for about two weeks or more, and people have been focusing on Ariana Grande and how she's talking about her exes. But this is just another celebrity relationship, and how many of those actually last? I mean, actor Robert De Niro and his wife just got divorced, and they've been married for over 20 years. So should we really be taking this song by Ariana seriously? Are celebrity relationships just doomed to fail? What about relationships in general? Should we even have them? Find out more on this episode of Ruining Your Faves. Alright, so Thank You Next is a very good song. In it, Ariana Grande talks about her relationships with the rapper Big Sean, actor Pete Davidson, and deceased rapper Mac Miller. And I really like how she's reflective of these relationships, talking about how she's learned from them and where to move on next. It's actually really mature. Ariana is only like 25, and to have this deep mindset at this age is really good. Nora and colleagues have stated that younger individuals go through one or more relationships within two years. And a lot of this is due to younger individuals going through different developmental stages in their lifetime. There's actually a theory that talks about this called the developmental stages theory. This theory pretty much states that younger individuals seek out different experiences or relationships based off where they are developmentally in their lifetime. So if a person wants a thrill, they might go for a bad boy or a bad girl. Or if a person wants more maturity out of their relationship as a young individual, they might date someone older. But that's not to say that that person is actually mature because age is just a number. Age ain't nothing but a number. So this could explain why certain individuals when they're younger tend to date interesting characters, let's say. Another thing to consider is across various social identities, members of devalued groups consistently experience impaired relationship outcomes compared to members of dominant groups. So what does this mean? Pretty much if you're in a marginalized group, you might experience relationship stressors. So if you're a woman, you're gonna experience stressors. If you're an African American or whatnot, you're gonna experience stressors as well. In fact, research shows that women tend to initiate divorces more than men do. And also African Americans tend to not get married as much. Much. So let's take African Americans for example. A lot of African Americans deal with racism, they deal with microaggressions, and microaggressions are pretty much when people make little comments and they tend to get at you over a period of time. So some African Americans might hear comments such as, oh you speak so well, and it's like, no, I'm just speaking English. And in some cases, certain people might come and try to touch your hair, and it's like, no, don't touch my hair. And these people are usually white or another race, and this can cause a lot of stress, a lot of build build up internally. So if you're dealing with this on the outside, and then you come home and your spouse is giving you grief or stress, you have the stress from the world and you have the stress from your spouse and that comes together and you're like, I'm over it. So if we look at Ariana Grande, she's already part of a devalued group and that is being a woman. And then she's a celebrity as well. And celebrities, even though they're very valued, uh, it can add stress in her romantic life. Thus you have the breakup. And I know there's other factors that could come into play, but this is touching the surface here. But in some situations, people who are part of marginalized groups, they're able to overcome this and make the relationship work. So researchers Doyle and Malix, they pretty much said that individuals who go through stress, they may pull apart or they may come together based off where they're at and their coping mechanisms. Some scholars say that individuals who are part of a marginalized group that still remain with their romantic partner are good at coping and they're good at dealing with the situation. They show resiliency. So is that true for people like Ariana Grande and Robert De Niro's wife who's a black woman? Do they show lack of resiliency? Are they not able to cope? I don't know. This is just me giving my opinion on the matter and giving you all information, ruining your fave. Speaking of music, Chemistry Productions owns a music label called Conscious Records. Conscious Records has a single coming out on November 27th called Meet the Press. I'm sure you're all gonna like it. So on November 27th, check your streaming services, that's iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, Tidal, and definitely show us some love. I mean, the song's coming out right after Thanksgiving, so make us feel thankful. And this song is also the debut of a producer named Scotty Beats, so definitely know his name, get to recognizing it, because he's going to be something. So thank you all for watching this episode of Ruining Your Faves. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Mm, do, 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 do. Chemistry Productions.